Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 23 in this series and is entitled Encapsulation in Java. The four fundamental concepts of OOP are abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, and encapsulation. Encapsulation, by definition, means information hiding. Some consider instantiating objects as already a form of encapsulation since we're using methods that we don't know how we're defined. We know that the Xanar class, for example, can print any number of arguments, but we really, really don't know how they are processed. We just believe that they will be displayed the way we instructed the object to do. Furthermore, encapsulation protects code and data from being accessed by outside classes. This makes codes easier to maintain. For activity number 44, we will create a Java class or a project called Encapsulation Sample that instantiate a class Saudi National. We will not put any parameter in the constructor. Instead, we will set initial values as nothing and zero for fields national ID and insurance, respectively. The methods here are the set national ID and set insurance that will set the values for the fields and get national ID and get insurance that will return the values of the fields. We will initially declare the fields as public, then we will instantiate Saudi National and display the two fields values using the fields names. Then we will change their values to NID 100 and 100,000 and display their values again. Then we will run it. That will be the first run. Later, we will declare the fields as private and change the code. This will be the second run. Our input here will be the instantiation values, and our process will consist of two classes. The first class is the Saudi National, which will have two fields, the National ID and Insurance, which are going to be initially public. Our constructor will contain no argument, and we will simply set nothing for the National ID and zero for the insurance. We will for we have four methods. The first two methods will simply set the values for the national ID and insurance, while the next two will simply return the values of national ID and insurance. In encapsulation sample class, we're going to instantiate the Saudi national class, and we will print the values of national ID and insurance immediately. Then, we will change the values of the two fields using get national ID and get insurance ID, and then we will display the two fields values again. This will be the first run. Our output will be the values of national ID and insurance. Now, this is not yet a demonstration of encapsulation because all the fields and methods will be still seen when we instantiate the, the class. In the second run, we will make the fields private and then make the necessary changes as National ID and insurance will no longer be visible once they are become private. This is encapsulation. Let's name our project encapsulation sample. Create the Saudi national class by right clicking the package new Java class and call it Saudi national. We're going to declare here two fields that will initially be public the national ID, which should be of type string, and the other one is the insurance, which will be of type integer. We will declare a constructor, Saudi national, that has no argument, and we will simply set the value of national ID to nothing, and the insurance to zero. We will create the four methods, all public. We'll start with the void method set national ID, which will have one argument, the new national ID. And it will simply change the value of the national ID to the new national ID. It's almost the same for the second method, avoid method to set the insurance, which will have also one argument for the new insurance, 
and we'll simply set the field insurance value to new insurance. The third method will return a string value which is called get national ID. It will have no argument and it will simply return the national ID. The fourth method is almost the same as the third which will return an integer value. The name of the method is get insurance. There is no um, argument and it will only return the value of the insurance field. Now we can go to the encapsulation sample where we are going to instantiate first the Saudi national. Let's call it student is equal to new Saudi national. We will immediately print the values system that out that print lane. Let's say national ID plus now the instance is student so we'll type student. Now notice what will happen if I press the dot. What can we see are the national ID and the insurance fields as well as the get national ID, get insurance, and set insurance, and set national ID. So that means we can see all the two fields and all the four methods. Nothing is encapsulated. So let's use national ID here. And then again, system that out print line insurance plus again student dot insurance field because we can see it. Then we'll just put a space to, se to separate the old values to the new values. And now we will change the values using the method set. So start with student dot let's set the national ID first. So set national ID two and ID one hundred. Then we will set again the insurance to one hundred thousand. Then we will display again the fields. So I'll just copy this to Control C, Control V. Now we can run it. So the first values are nothing and zero. And when we change them, the new values are NID 100 and 100,000. Again, there is nothing encapsulated in this example. And this is the first run. So let's go back to Saudi National and change the fields to private. private. Then go back to encapsulation sample. Now notice the errors. National ideas private access in Saudi National. What does it mean? I'll just show you. If I type now student dot, you can no longer see the fields, but you can still see the four methods. This means that the fields have already been encapsulated. They were hidden. So to change them, we have to use the methods. And to display them, we also have to, we also have to use the methods. So this is no longer applicable. So if you want to display the value, we have to use the method get national ID. Same here. We can no longer use that insurance field. So if you want to get the insurance value, we have to use the get insurance method. Same here. 
we have to use the get national ID method and here we have to use the get insurance method so that's it if we run it now it will still have the same outputs but remember that the two fields have now been encapsulated well done, we just finished demonstrating encapsulation in Java. We now have completed discussing the fundamental concepts in object-oriented programming. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.